Hey, this is Oren with MathRide.com, and today I need to talk to you about Dig It Up coming to Gimkit Creative. That means the terrains, the pickaxes, all that good stuff is coming to, not even coming to, it is here. It is here. So let's read these uh, these uh, show notes from uh, Josh with the updates to Gimkit Creative as of April 24th, 2024. It says, in this release, we bring over some of the exciting new systems we introduced in our new game mode, Dig It Up. New terrain, new dynamic terrain. So we got eight new terrains available in the top-down and platformer map. So this is top-down and platformer. So if you haven't tried Dig It Up in top-down, you can try that and do what you can do. You know, that's crazy. That's wild. All right, so let's go. Alright, so there's dynamic dirt, dynamic sand, dynamic stone, dynamic copper, dynamic silver, dynamic gold, dynamic ruby, and dynamic diamond. When placed as a wall, dynamic terrains are destructible and buildable in game. This this allows you to, to create maps where players can create and destroy builds. You can use this mechanic to take make combat maps where players build cover or capture the flag maps where teams try to protect their flag with builds in platformer maps you could disable the allow floating dynamic builds option when you disable this the dynamically placed terrain must be attached to a solid surface if it becomes detached it and all dynamic terrain attached to it will be destroyed so basically if someone destroys the terrain under a dynamic terrain then it will all destroy. Imagine Minecraft where you're punching a tree on the bottom and somehow the rest of the tree is floating. It's allowing you to um, destroy the whole thing if you destroy that bottom piece, which is more like Fortnite, I believe, in a way. I believe. <laughs> anyway, um, then there's also the new pickaxe gadget. What's cool about this is that it goes with hand-to-hand -hand with the dynamic terrain update with any gad gadget. It can damage terrain. You can also, uh, if you destroy dynamic terrain with a pickaxe, you will be granted that terrain as an item. While the pickaxe can deal PvP damage, note that it's not intended nor recommended. Damaging players with a pickaxe is inconsistent, and they may entirely remove the PvP damage from the pickaxe in the future. Pickaxes use a new durability system which they do not require a resource to use but lose durability after each hit. So if you select the infinite durability which is on by default but if you turn it off then whenever you use a pickaxe it will be destroyed. So um, I'm going to show you a little clip of that and what that looks like. You can actually see a little bar where you're trying to use your pickaxe and over time it does go down so this can be used in game modes where you know people have to be a little more strategic in what they're mining it could be thought of as like a breath of the wild from um legend of zelda where every item has a level of durability attached to it previously the vending machine device had a wire option when purchase failed but not a channel option now it has both you can now place up to 400 text devices. I think last time it was like 250. The barrier device can now be made uh, much wider and taller than before. Consumable items have been renamed to usable items to support items such as dynamic terrain and healing items like shield cans. They fixed the issue where the amount of usable items was incorrectly shown when spectating. Mobile platforming controls have been significantly upgraded, so now you can move uh, even when something nearby is around for you to interact with, you can still move around. There's also improved load times when starting a game. So th this was not just don't look down or dig it up um, stuff. They added so much more to it. They, they've upgraded some things, added your um, ability to use text devices a lot more because people are using it for images and things like that, which is cool. And I could picture a lot of people really benefiting from this. But the biggest thing is that the terrain, the dynamic terrain from Dig It Up is going to be used in top down and in platformer. So platformer is the standard. That's what we're used to. But seeing it in top down ought to be really interesting. Also, knowing that pickaxes can have dura uh, durability, 
which they break after a certain number of uses is wild in itself like it's, it's really exciting to see anyway that's all the news i have for you for with gim kid and their updates with gim kid creative tell me what you think um i'm assuming as of today platforming is still for those who have the season ticket for platforming creative however the fact that the dynamic terrain has come to top down is actually really cool because a lot of people still have the uh, the top down stuff for creative only and you can actually use that in your game mode. Tell me what you think and what excitement and what things you plan on building. Also remember you can send me your game mode at mathrive.com um, as a tiny URL and I will play it and try to showcase it whenever I have the time to. Thank you so much for your time.